I've decided to continue watching this board meeting because there's information here that you won't hear anywhere else. Sometimes they let it slip out. Uh, I would never have heard that this guy, Steve Witter, had put in his retirement papers. And I bet you it was because of the streetcar mess where TriMet is being sued by the city for $10 million because this guy here, Steve Witter, probably 275000 300000 a year, did not supervise the project correctly, and now they have a big mess over there. That's going to cost $10 million to fix it. But he's out the door. Who knows how much his retirement will be? Probably something ridiculously huge. 10000 a month or something. That's, that's, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh... And I wouldn't have known that I wouldn't have known that he was retiring, other than watching this because they they brought it up. I never would have connected that dot. But I bet you that's why he's out the door because you don't just walk out of a two hundred fifty thousand dollar a year job. Although you know maybe you do these days because why not take your pension now while you can still get it? Who knows how what the future will bring? And also this. So they got more pork barrel money coming in here. You know, TriMet has just got money coming out of its ears. And here you have the the Oregonian, the mainstream media propaganda mouthpiece for government in, in the Portland area. I mean, they're all the publications pretty much are. So they're going to get another, oh... 153,000, another 153 million coming in. So most of that will be split between with, okay, 104 million for another 104 million. And they already got 289 million, okay, earlier this year. They've cut transit services 20% on the bus. So they got all this money, they cut the service. And here's what Allstead has to say. Allstead says TriMet share will go toward helping up for losses. That's a lie. She's lying again. They're, they're just lying, and that's what they do. Every time they're in the Oregonian, you can know it's a lie. Losses for the during the pandemic, they cut their bus service. And they got $289 million, which was more than the actual amount they would have made from fares. So they're lying. A budget deficit? They don't have a budget deficit. I've seen their budget. They're lying, as they always do. At the time, TriMet's board said it was facing a $150 million deficit. And we have to look at how they look at, they don't even edit their articles here. It's misprinted. Made, they don't, they've misprinted that. Would make major bu bus cuts between 2026 and 2030. We heard that in 2008. The exact same thing. They're lying. They are liars and they are a crime syndicate. Okay. And here's who they are right here. See this picture? This Luciano. That's to Sam DeSue. This is all of his leadership team. They're all criminals involved in a crime syndicate as far as I'm concerned. Because they lie. They lie. They're just liars. Okay? And meanwhile, your service is shit. And I listen to it every day, so don't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Because I do. Okay? The service is completely unreliable. And, uh, unfortunately for you, if you're riding it, you're fucked. And this is their new, um, their new website, which I don't like. It's made it higher, harder to find things here. Okay, now. Okie dokie. Uh, let's put comments for some baloney here. What is this shit? Let's see what this is. TriMet is offering an opportunity to submit comments on a proposed program of projects. Pop. 
What did they, look at this, man. 54.1 million. 39.7 million. 1.3 million. 14.4 million. Congestion, mitigation, 120 million. Total project, 147 million. And here they are. They're yakking about, oh, we're going to have a budget deficit. This is a crime syndicate, folks. That's who they are. Hundreds of millions of dollars, and your bus isn't showing up on time or ever. What a joke. I mean, how, people just let them get away with this shit. Oh, look, they're going to have a meet. Oh, they're having the tax commission meeting. That's, uh, yeah, that's another puppet board. Where's the, where's the past meetings here? Oh, here they are. All right, I need to see the agenda here. Oh, no, I don't want the agenda. I want, I want the, okay, here's, here's what we want. Okay, let's just watch a little more of this not bullshit. Maintenance, repair, installation, and con consultation, intrusion detection consultation, and alarm system monitoring, maintenance, repair, and Okay, this, this installation. One, this. So before I ask for a motion. So they're going to approve all of this without any comments, okay? Including this. We're not going to, they're not going to talk about it. They're just going to approve it. They're just going to rubber, well, it's all rubber stamp anyway, but I mean, they're just crime syndicate, man. So how much th this is, they want. Okay, this is a new contract, so they're not going to... Why is this on the consent agenda? Con request for a proposal with Reese in 1.13 million in order to purchase building access control repair installation, consultation and treat... Look at all this shit. TriMet facilities are equipped with Lennel On Guard 2012 building access control with photo identification system. This system incorporates Lenel controllers, Lenel compatible card readers, and Lenel compatible video cameras, all based on Lenel Pro One operating system. I never even heard of that. TriMet's fire and security alarms have been obtained from a variety of manufacturers. TriMet safety division and facilities have an ongoing need for building. Who knows what the fuck this is, man? I, I don't know, man. I can't even. Look, this is garbage. Does anyone wish to have any of these items removed from the consent agenda? And um, you would just need to raise your hand and indicate which one. So they're going to just not even talk about this. They're just going to approve this. Hearing and seeing oh, none, I'm going to ask for a motion. Oh, okay, uh, I see. They're, they're, just, they're just giving them an extra, okay. They're giving them an extra 300 grand. Because that's, you know, that's, they've got money coming out their ears, folks. Don't ever listen to their lies that they don't have money. They have money coming out of their ears. Anytime any of these contractors of theirs want money, it's there. And then they, and then you read in the mainstream media, oh, we're broke. They're just, you know, everything you hear on mainstream media, always remember the opposite is true. Everything that's on our mainstream media now is a lie. I don't believe anything that's on our mainstream media. I don't believe anything our government tells us. I think it's nothing but lies, all of it. Um, to approve the consent agenda. This is Kim. Uh, I move to approve the consent agenda. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Director Kim. You is there a second? You puppet. Second. Thank you, Director <laughs> Edwards. Um, so I'm going to call for the question. It's been moved and seconded. Um, does anyone want to make a comment? Probably not on this. So I'll just ask. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any, oppo any opposed? Never. Motion carries. Okay, the first two resolutions today, um, I'm All going right. to temporarily pause the TriMet Board of Directors meeting um, so that the board will serve in two of our other important capacities. 
First, I'll now convene the TriMet Contract Review Board so we can consider Resolution 22-03-11, authorizing a class exemption for construction of certain bus layover improvements and upgrades. Mr. General Manager, your comments. All right, stop. Let's see what it is. Okay. They're authorizing an exemption from low bid contracting rules to allow best value. Yeah, sure. Th th you know, this is them saying our executive staff of criminals will make the decisions of who's going to get the money based upon who we like. Of course, they say it's, we're going to do this based upon who we think they're the, they're the most qualified, but we know how it works. Okay, in 2018, the board adopted a statewide improved STIF plan, uh, which is funded by payroll taxes. Isn't that the isn't the STIF money? Isn't that the the tax grab? I think that's the tax grab where the with the legislature raised your taxes without your vote. This will require construction work to alter or add. This is bus layover space at existing stops. ORS 2917A100 provides that state public contracting code may not be construed to prohibit TriMet from engaging in public contracting practices designed to promote may not affirmative action goal. Disadvantages. Uh, what is this? The class exemption authorized will facilitate opportunities for to build okay, so there I see what this is. Yeah, okay, whatever, man. I mean, yeah, they're they're gonna they're gonna use the favoritism method. Okay, they say it's all we're gonna make the best, but you know this is this is just criminal activity. This is what this is. They're criminals and they're operating a criminal regime here. Okay, just like a just like a a, a goddamn banana republic, basically. They're their own little country. Think of it as, think of TriMet as a country. Tax funded, but just like a country is. And it's a banana republic because there's no input on anything that the rulers are doing. And the rulers of your transit system are the executives. These these board members are, are the functionaries, you know, the enablers of the crime syndicate because they just approve everything that comes in front of them. And... There's never discussion. I mean, there might be a question now and then, but no, nothing worth talking about. So let's hear. President Simmons, members of the board, uh, this resolution requests a class exemption for construction projects that are called for under the State Transportation Investment Fund. And these are pork barrels. Rather, let's just say what it is. They're, they're pork barrels. That's what TriMet is now. It's a pork barrel capital projects agency. They're no longer a legitimate transit agency as far as I'm concerned. They're a pork barrel agency. And they have been for years, but now it's now it's on hyperspeed. Now that now they're just right out in the open. We're gonna cut your bus service, but we're gonna fund all this other shit. Too bad for you, you serfs. Shut up. Complain if you want, but it ain't gonna do you any good. Known as stiff which was created uh, by Keep Oregon Moving. Oh, yeah. Keep the Oregon class Moving. exemption. Keep Oregon Moving. They should raise your taxes without your vote, give it a nice little name, and it creates a whole other class of pork barrels. This is how the elites do you, folks. This is how they do you. And requests would change the contract award process for these projects from the traditional low bid procurement method to the competitive request for proposals. If approved, this would allow TriMet to select, select contractors based on many factors, including the price of their work, but not only price, as with the low bid process. Approval of this resolution will make it easier for the so-called COVID certified office for business inclusion and diversity firms to win contracts and therefore build capacity and become more competitive in the market for future TriMet projects. COVID firms are certified by Oregon's Office for Business Inclusion and Diversity. COVID certified firms are businesses owned by minorities, women, 
and service disabled veterans along with emerging small businesses that are interested in contracting with state, county, and city government agencies. TriMet staff has already conducted outreach and have identified a pool of COVID certified contractors who are interested and able to perform the type of work needed. The projects will improve our bus service and include such work as upgrading lighting and for they don't have bus service, but they're doing this shit. So we just see this over and over and over and over and over. They're doing all this other crap, but they're not giving you service. Uh, safety at concrete pads along curbs with bus stops and adding more shelters at bus stops. With that, I ask for board's approval in your capacity as a TriMet contract review board. Thank you, General Manager Dessou. Um, is there a motion um, to approve this resolution? This is Director Gonzalez. I so move to approve this resolution. Thank you, Director Gonzalez. Now, boy, uh, you don't ask any questions. Just go ahead and. Gonzalez, is there a second? Second. Thank you, Director Lewis. So it's been moved and seconded. Does anyone wish to make a comment? Comments here. I do. Yes. This is not in in the best interest of the taxpayers, of course, because you're the way it's supposed to work is low bid. That saves taxpayers money. But you know, this is TriMet. Director Gonzalez. Thank you, President Simmons. I just wanted to, um, you know, thank the the staff for bringing oh God, forward Ozzie, this resolution on, and uh, oh proposing to um, have a process by which we can um, intentionally do business with our local um, certified business community. Right. Okay, Ozzy. So fuck the taxpayers and worry about your your low income, whatever, your disadvantaged. Why don't you provide fair free transit if you're worried about disadvantaged people instead of spreading the pork around to your buddies? Um, the low bid process is a major obstacle to inclusion. And I, I like seeing the low when, bid process is a major obstacle to include. What the fuck are you talking about? What? These are construction projects. What do you mean it's a? Oh my god! Inclusion. They have the nerve to talk about equity and inclusion when there's thousands of people living in tents. It's like God. There's this cognitive dissonance in the public. They don't see the horror show right in front of their eyes. And it's people like this are completely disconnected from the reality of most Americans. That's, I, you know, that's why I can't watch, I can't watch this, I can't do it. It's like torture. And there is an intention behind our procurement practices, so I wanted to applaud the staff for you do, um, you recognizing act. that and doing the hard work of doing finding the hard pathway. Work. Oh yeah, they're um, working so hard, Oz, and they're doing the hard work. The executives are sitting at home doing the hard work. God damn, I, I, I can't take it. I gotta, I gotta turn this on.